Here is, listen to, uh, here's Kellyanne Conway talking about why the top medical expert in our government, who is, you know, for all we know, the only thing standing between us and just sort of like broad swaths of the population dying, why he can't testify in front of Congress. Remember, this is a guy who shows up every day for like four hours for, to watch Donald Trump's uh, crap show that he puts on. Here's Kellyanne Conway. So I understand the House uh, made it clear last week they would like to see Anthony Fauci. The White House said, no, you're not going to do that. Well, the word is he will, the president will let him go in front of a Senate committee. What could you tell us about any member of the task force and testifying sometime in May? And can you separate the chambers? You have a different policy per chamber. My lawyers are probably sorting that out. Uh, I, I prefer that our health and our and all of us, our experts, really Positive focus and uh, fo Positive continue to focus. I mean, our lawyers are sorting out why we, we allow uh, Fauci to testify to the Republican-controlled Senate as opposed to the Democratic-controlled House. I, it just like, yeah. uh, go ahead. To really focus and uh, fo continue to focus on this pandemic, which you've been doing for two straight months at the White House, um, rather than. But they say uh, they are by getting the latest from the task force. Sure. Well, that's okay. And listen, if the president has no problem with that, there's no executive privilege attached to that based on the task force conversations, then I'll leave that to the lawyers and to the different testifiers. Um, I think it would shed a great deal of light. I just hope that the people who are asking the questions are asking intelligent, rational questions that are actually relevant to the American health because we've seen what they do before um, for example they say stupid things like uh, this is a job interview this is a job interview for a lifetime appointment about Brett Kavanaugh let's believe all women or at least those three women oh uh, most of who then retracted or didn't have corroborating evidence so let's make sure that they don't uh, that they make use good use of the question time of Dr. Fauci and other members of this task force and they're not doing the usual fishing expedition because we had two years of collusion nonsense then we tried to impeach a president remove yeah, him from I office can't. none of that just, just to be clear it better be about health but I love to see Kellyanne Conway afraid of actually answering a pointed question from Fox and Friends. So okay. she has to filibuster the entire time. What? It was a job interview for Kavanaugh. They're not doing a job interview for Fauci. They're trying to find out, like, <laughs> how, can we, how can we keep your, your insane boss from, from uh, killing more Americans? I mean, you know, make no mistake about it. I mean, that's what... That's what's going on. When the guy says, like, you know, would 100,000, that's all we're going to lose. Oh, well, that's only 30,000 more. Oh, we must be totally safe to go out. Or also, how can we allocate our funds to the, the right places? I mean, it's, it's it, so that we can prevent the pandemic from growing if it's going to be in phases, if it's going to go to new communities. Well, what kinds of communities? What are the, you know, what... What are the structural issues that are in place in some communities versus others? Is it concentration of people? Is it, you know, manufacturing plants? You know, these are the kinds of questions that I think Congress deserves to know so they can prepare to advocate for their communities. Yeah, it's a waste of time uh, to have questions asked about the public health unlike the president rambling and saying that we should inject bleach into our um, system with him standing behind him. My uncle... Is at MIT. So uh, th this medical stuff, I'm pretty good at. Pretty good at it. I'm pretty good. I once walked on their campus. 